Right, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises on the Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Double honors unto the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And honor to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Uh, the brother Kaya Kwam, I got uh, the brother Amav Kwam with me. And we're just going to go into um, these couple articles. Because basically over here in the UK, they've been having a prison crisis for a while. Um, because basically they put dudes in prison for crazy sentences for bullshit. You know what I'm saying? You can, you know, so obviously based upon Esau's system of so-called criminal justice, you end up just with um more and more men locked up in jail sitting around. As we know, according to the to the scriptures, if 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 the society was being run according to the law of the Heavenly Father, first of all, there won't be no murderers in jail. Okay. A murderer, if you're convicted of murder by by um, um the mouth of two or three witnesses, according to the Bible, you're supposed to be put to death. Okay? You know, a lot of the... If you applied the law of the Bible, basically, the jails wouldn't be full. And secondly, a guy ain't really supposed to go to jail. If he's done a grievance against another man, he basically supposed to work that off. You know what I mean? Like, if you steal, you're supposed to work that off. You're supposed to really get put into slavery. But, you know, Esau sets up a system whereby you get um, young men or men in general that get um, uh, sectioned off into these prisons. And then what happens is the prisons get overloaded and then that becomes an issue and a problem. Now, it's the same problem they're having in the US. The United States of America has got the biggest prison population per capita in the world and they're having the same issue. With the three strikes, you got all kind of people that are going down for jail for 25 years, 75 years, and the jails are just getting full and full. You got certain jails, the guys are living in tents in the damn gymnasium and shit. So overcrowding in prisons, it's becoming a crisis, it's becoming an issue, but it's, it's, it's by design. All right. Now it says prisoners won't have to declare convictions on job applications on the plans unveiled by David Cameron as he faces claims of soft justice over stupid reforms. Now, I want to jump down to a key point in these reforms. It says, ex-prisoners would only have to declare criminal record at interview stage, which which obviously then, then it doesn't matter. Obviously, if it's stigmatizing you on the application form, it's going to stigmatize you in the interview. <laughs> you know? But the point I want to bring out of this change, it says, there's a radical scheme. We'll see thousands of prisoners let out during the week. So what they're planning on doing is certain prisoners maybe possibly non-violent or ones that show good behavior would actually be let out of prison for the week to work and then they only really come back to the prison on the weekend which would kind of um help with the overcrowding and the re so-called rehabilitation now we all know how it is that they're ultimately gonna um bring that through and that's with the mark of the beast the the implantable rfid chip because if you release these prisoners out of prison, how are you going to ensure that they return to prison? How are you going to ensure or, or, um, or uh, um, uh, ensure the public that these people are not going to be a risk? Now, at the moment, they got something called TAG, where they put people on TAG, which is basically the chip, but they attach it to your leg on a TAG. But we all know that that's not the end game of the so-called white man. The end game is not a tag. The end game is to put the chip within. Now it says inmates near the end of sentences be locked up only at weekends. Um, so <clears throat> what I want to do um, is bring out a couple more articles to show you they've already flirted with, with the idea of chipping um, inmates in the UK. And it, not just only the UK. So I'm going to get these. I'm going to let the brother get the precepts. Um, which the, There was a guy that invented a microchip that had a cyanide pill in there. Um, specifically for prisoners. So if the prisoner tries to escape, the cyanide pill would kill them. That that patent is out there. And there's a guy from Abidis who's Arab. And he, he patented it in Germany, I believe. Or one of them... Um, northern european countries uh now this is going back an article going back 
to um two thousand and uh fifteen it says all in Albany Senator suggests implanting microchips in prisoners. Senator Kathy Marchion says it would make good sense for the state to start using technology like embedded microchips to track some prisoners. Alright. It says, now I'm going to jump down to the point. It says, we heard the Clinton County District Attorney suggest that maybe all prisoners should have GPS tracking systems attached to them, embedded in them. Host Liz Benjamin said, you can get a microchip placed underneath your skin of your pet, so perhaps that would be something that you you think the legislator might look at. So they're already flirting with the idea of microchipping prisoners, and like I said, they're going to create, they've created a crisis of prisoner overcrowding, they'll also create a crisis of prisoners escaping, they'll, they'll, it's all, it's problem, reaction, solution, they're going to create the problem, and then the solution is going to be, well, we got to chip them. All right. Um. Here's another article from Natural News. It says UK to begin microchip in prisons is back in 2008, and it says that the British government is developing a plan to track current and former prisoners by means of microchips implanted under the skin, drawing intense criticism from probation officers and civil rights groups as a way to reduce prison crowding. See, so they created a crisis, then they come with a solution. Many British prisoners are currently released on the electronic monitoring carried out by means of an ankle bracelet that transmits signals like those used by mobile phones. Now the Ministry of Justice is exploring the possibility of injecting prisoners in the back of the arm with a radio frequency identification. Radio frequency identification. <laughs> Where's my dog? That contains information about their name, address and criminal record. Such chips which contain a built-in antenna could be scanned by special readers. The implantation of RFID chips in luggage, pets and livestock has become increasingly popular in years. So we see there's a trend and there's an ag- we know what the agenda is. You got, you got, you got, yeah, yeah. I was, I was just going to add to what the brother was saying, man, because I've known people when I was growing up who had the chip. Um, even women had the chip, man. And they, they didn't, that was just basically to stop them from going to You mean the, the, um, the tag? The, 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 the tag. Yeah. All right, the, the ankle bracelet, like the, uh, like the document said. And basically, even amongst those people that have been in prison, it's pretty much going to roll out to the people to avoid prison as well, to, to uh, get the, the chip rather than the ankle bracelet, because that's what people used to do. Um, the police used to let them run up a, a, a long list of charges against themselves, so that instead of getting short sentences, they would entail lo- long sentences. And then they'll basically bust them once they've got enough criteria or, or reason to bust them for long periods. And they'll say, you know what, we're going to offer you the anklet. So now they're pretty much going to offer them the chip. Um, and also with the chip, what you would have, uh, what with the ankle bracelet, you would have um, the bracelet on your ankle where it wouldn't allow you to go outside your property further than the gate or a certain distance. Yeah. And um, by a certain curfew, you would have to be home. Now, um, you'd also have a phone installed in your property so that if you went past that or you breached that, the phone would ring. But pretty much, if you, you ain't like going to need a... That sounds like 1984 with the thing in your room. Come yeah. man. You know, and um, you ain't going to need that phone anymore because pretty much this is going to come straight to you, man. There ain't going to be no phone call. Yeah. You're going to have um, the RFID chip. That's right. That's right. So, like I said, it's they've created a problem, which is the prison population the overcrowding in the prisons and now they're giving you the solution which ultimately is the microchip but they're not really Cameron and them guys are not really jumping straight to it they're trying to bring it in stealth you know but we see that they the UK government already had these plans back then in 2008 so now they're coming with these prison reforms look for them to sneak that implantable microchip in there with them reforms how do we know this because we know their agenda and when you know someone's agenda, then no matter how they try and use theatricality and deception, you already know where they're going with it. Now, um, now you know what? Go straight to Revelations um, 13 and get 16 real quick. Because the Bible tells you that both free and bond are going to have to take this chip. Now, the bond represents your prisoners. The free represents your so-called uh, citizen which is at liberty your bond represents your prisoner 
Okay. Go on now. Get that. Revelations 13 and 16. And he calls of all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Right. It say, so it said free or bond, right? That's right. Rich or poor, free and bond. Free and bond. The bond represents the prisoners. And we see they're already introducing the Im implantable microchip or have plans to introduce it into the, the um, prison system. You see? So everything is going according to prophecy. All right? And they're going to achieve chipping a lot of people, man. But they're not going to they're not gonna chip the elect. All right? Um, pursuing to Job 5 and 12 Now give me Micah 2, two and, and 1 They are going to bring in the system And try and force it on the people man And they're making the moves man So all these guys out there That's basically telling you otherwise They're one of two things They're either paid off Or they're just plain completely stupid Because when you look at society They're creating crises And you can see that the solution To that particular crisis is to chip people let's let's bring another instance out now illegal immigration what are they saying these illegal illegal immigrants you can't track them the uh, uh, immigrants coming in from europe what have they been saying on the news are oh, these immigrants are coming and we don't know where they're going some of them could be terrorists when they come to the immigration centers they say thirty thousand of them disappeared don't know where they are now that's a crisis they're creating there They've created an immigration crisis in Europe and they've created an immigration crisis in America. What is the solution? The solution is all immigrants are going to be chipped. Ultimately, everyone, they're going to want everyone chipped. But like the Apostle Tahar said, they're rolling it out in sections of society, man. Military, immigration, education, uh, uh, um, healthcare. Mm -hmm. Innovative ways. Right, which ultimately the the system, the mark of the beast system, is going to be tied into every system, man, to make it one. Okay, going on. Uh, Micah two and one. Woe to them that devise iniquity, and work evil upon their beds. When the morning is light, they practice it, because it is in the power of their hand. The 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 super elite, they run and own all the governments. They own the, the, um, they control the captains of industry. They control industry. So they're able to control the, the flow of that particular industry or system towards their, basically they get to implement their agenda. So when it comes to the banking system, for instance, they control Visa, they control MasterCard. So they're introducing the RFID technology in these systems. And there's nothing that anyone else can do about it because they control these systems, man. They control the government in the UK. That's why they're going to bring through these reforms. All right. I wanted to... Yeah, yeah, you could get the job for it. Look, Saudi killer chip implant would track eliminate undesirables. See, I know, see, this the, the, the technology is already there and they have the crisis, so they're going to use that technology as a solution to the crisis, man. And we're in that time, man, where they're pushing this stuff through and people don't know. If you don't know any better, you would have just read that article about the jail reforms and it wouldn't jump out at you. Hold on, they're going to release prisons? They're going to release prisoners during the week? How are they going to track and, and, and monitor these prisoners that they're releasing during the week? Well, look, the obvious answer is if you go back two, three, four, five years ago, they already said that they, they're looking into chipping motherfuckers. All right? And that's the snail trail of the so-called Jew, man. They always implement, they've got an agenda, and they'll just do it uh, incrementally, slowly, bit by bit. They'll man. set it up. And they'll set it up until it's too late to turn back, man. Yep, yep. Uh, and you see, it began with a tag. See, that's what they did. Everything begins one way, but that wasn't the 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 sy ultimate synthesis that they wanted, man. The, the birth certificate, the yep. the, the um, Se social security, national so, insurance number. Yep. Those were all uh, the tax disc. Now over here in the UK, 
your tax disk is no longer paper based it's all electronic so every system and database now is going to an electronic database where everyone has access to so now the, the police they can check your tax and your insurance by going to the more insurance database another thing is um with the tax you only used to pay it annually you couldn't pay it monthly but having the benefit of you paying it monthly most people would uh, agree to that but guess what it means you're more easier to track as well because you're always making payments yep They're always tracking your in your transactions that's the system that's being created around us man and it's it's happening before our eyes and it's prophecy it's man it's the manifestation of the prophecy of the heavenly father man and guys who are ignoring that they're just not the prophets they're not the watchmen going on job 5 and 12 he disappointed the devices of the crafty. The crafty is talking about the serpent, which represents the super elite, the subtile ones. They're very subtile. The, the problem reaction solution is subtility. Because you they're not they ain't gonna come out front street and say, yo, we want to chip all you people. No, they're gonna create a crisis and coerce you into that eventuality, right? Through subtility. And what is their device? Well, Aaron Russo was told by Nick Rockefeller, their device is that they want everybody chipped and they want to bring in a new world order, man. That's the device of the elites, a new world order. And within that new world order, one world government system, every one citizen of the world is going to be tri tri um, tracked and traced and owned and documented and quantified. Complete totalitarian dystopian uh, uh, um, bullshit right, go on he disappointed the devices of the crafty so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise but ultimately they're only going to go so far into this new world order but then the lord is going to disappoint them because they're not going to be able to chip everyone they're not going to be able to kill all the people they want to kill and in the end they're going into slavery and they're going to be the property Okay, they're not going to be able to transform this world into their own image because ultimately the earth and the fullness thereof belongeth to Yahweh Ba Sham Yahweh Shai, man. And there's going to be a new heavens and a new earth, meaning the earth is going to be refreshed and reformed back to the way that the Lord had intended it to be everlasting. And the ways of the so called white man, his image, the image of the beast, is going to turn out to be a vain image. It's going to be a vain thing. That new world order, that transgenderism, transhumanism. The Esau is totally trying to upset the fabric of creation and life and order. Try, he's trying to bring the earth back into a state of void, man. Or of darkness, man. He's trying to do away with animals. He, trying to, he wants to wipe out the mosquitoes from the planet earth. I mean, who the fuck is you to, to, to want to destroy a, a whole species that the Heavenly Father created on the earth, man? Who the fuck is this so-called white man to do that? This man is totally trying to upset the fabric of life. He's trying to do away with male and female. So soon he want to do away with sex. And, and every, everyone will be grown in a damn laboratory, man. The Lord never set that up to be an everlasting ordinance. So the so-called white man, his plans and his image is going to be brought down and destroyed. And the Lord's going to re-establish that which it was from the very beginning, man. Going back to Adam and Eve, man. All right. Any other precepts you want to bring up? Um, yeah. Bring them up. I'm going to close up. It's a bit long-winded, but, you know, sometimes right. that's how it comes up. <laughs> this is Isaiah 42 and 22. But this is the people rubbed and spoiled. They are all of them snared in holes, and they are hid in prison houses. They are for a prey, and none delivereth. For a spoil, and none saith restore. Now, restore basically being like redeem to be brought back, man. And um, as you know, our Lord is the redeemer. And the only way you're going to escape that damnation is by not accepting the chip one thing, but also being a part of the elect, man. That's the only way you're going to, um, the only way you're going to be saved, man. That's it's, right. It's through Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai. That's right. Hey, so with that, you know, I hope brothers are edified. Things are happening, man, all over. Things are happening. Esau's pu pushing forward with his agenda, man, on all levels, you know. And, you know, only those who have eyes to see, 
you're going to know the agenda, man. And you're going to know, if you know the prophecies, that means the Esau, you won't, you cannot be ever be deceived, man. Once you know a man's agenda, which basically that's what Yahweh Hashem Yahweh has done. He's told us, that he's given us the blueprint. He's told us the, 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 um, the mind of this devil. So he, how can he deceive you? A con man, if you know what a con man wants from you, he can't con you. If you know he's looking to take your car, how can he come up with an exquisite plan con to take your car? Because he's trying to do misdirection and all this different subtlety, but you looking him straight in the face and said, look, bro, I know you want my car. Stop trying, stop talking about my house. Stop talking about my, you know, I know what your desire is. Yeah, okay. You know, that's what, I, that goes back to, I'll go back to Game of Thrones and Littlefinger. That's why Littlefinger had everyone all messed up. And he said that in the program because nobody knew what Littlefinger's agenda was. So he was just totally messing everybody up, man. He'd never let anyone knew what his ambitions were. Because when you know a man's ambitions and his desires, then you know him. That's it. You know what I'm saying? So we know what this devil is all about. The Bible tells you we are not ignorant to the devices of the devil. These guys out there that are not teaching that the mark of the beast is the RFID chips are being willingly ignorant to the devices of the devil and they're going to be caught up in the snare of the devil. All right. One last. Yeah, go Yeah, on. this is a closing scripture. Um, this is Isaiah 41 and 14. Mm -hmm. Fear not thou worm, Jacob, and ye men of Israel. I will help thee, saith the Lord, and thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. So basically, it goes back to faith, man. You ain't going to be taking thought about what you're going to do when they implement the chip. You're just going to be like, look, man, I'm going I'm to go in the faith in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's, that's, that's who told me about the chip. That's, that's how I learned about the chip through the scriptures. And, and I'm, I'm going to keep my faith, man. So the whole yeah. point is to hold fast that faith. That's right. The gift. That's correct. That's correct. So if that, we'll say shalom. Shalom.